pay-per-view marketing is basically when um, ads are shown to users who have agreed to install some type of um, software, whether it be a toolbar or a screensaver. And in addition, to, so in exchange for um, getting to use the software, they agree to be um, shown ads that get um, popped up when they visit a certain website or um, they type in a certain query string to a search engine or something. So uh, you might have also heard this called cost per view traffic, CPV. Um, it's also listed some, on some affiliate networks as contextual and pop-up traffic. So the way it works is there's um, pay-per-view networks uh, like traffic bands and media traffic, which we'll get into a little bit later. But you um, join these networks, then you can bid on um, site URLs like www.cars.com, you know, or you can bid on actual keywords. And what happens is when um, someone with that software installed visits um, whatever target you're bidding on, your ad gets shown. And so you're basically bidding per view. It's kind of the same thing in pay-per-click where you're bidding every time someone clicks your ad. Well, in pay-per-view, you're bidding every time someone views your ad. So um, with pay-per-view traffic, you can really um, promote anything. We're going to talk a little bit later about you know, what kind of offers we like to promote. Uh, the most popular thing to do is to promote CPA offers. Um, that seems to be really the hot thing right now because um, you can get a lot of targeted traffic for not a lot of money. And as far as the money to get started, you, you don't need a ton. Um, some of the networks have a really small initial deposit as low as $25, and some are up to 1000 But you can definitely get started without a lot of money. Um, Corey, did you want to add anything to... Sure. Well, one thing that I wanted to point out was is that some of the networks, um, their contextual uh, offers are listed under downloadable software, so they're um, or, or DLS. So that's that's another thing that you want to keep an eye on. I believe it's uh, never blue. Never blue. That, that yeah. Does the DLS. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, and it, we get a lot of questions about you know what kind of offers and networks accept this traffic. Um, most networks accept this traffic. Um, they really don't have a problem with it. It's, it's not anything shady. This isn't anything black hat or sneaky or anything. It's you know a legitimate advertising method. Um, some networks, you know, like Ryan Eagle's network, uh, Eagle Web Assets, they most of their offers. I think virtually every one of them you can run pay per view traffic on. And so if you're ever in doubt, you can just ask your affiliate manager, but it's usually listed as one of those um, contextual pop-up downloadable software um, that you can promote it. Absolutely. Another thing to add to that is that if you're using landing pages with this, um, it's my opinion, and I've talked to a couple uh, of affiliate managers, is that if you're using landing pages for this, it changes the type of traffic. Um, that you're sending. So if you have a landing page, and make sure you're talking to your uh, affiliate manager on this and how you're getting your traffic, but if you're sending PPV traffic to your landing page and then that, that person is then moving from your landing offer, it becomes a different type of traffic, in, in my opinion and in, you know, in several people's opinion, because it, it'll change to either you know, banner or, or website type of traffic because they're clicking on an action on your website. Um, so the referrer is going to be, you know, your domain. Yep, that's true. And also, um, you know, I, I know on networks there's always offers <clears throat> that I want to promote that are listed as email only. So with that, you can, um, one of the things we're going to talk about is using pay-per-view to collect email addresses. And so once you use the use this type of traffic to collect email addresses and you mail them an offer, then you're using basically email traffic and you can run those offers. Yeah. So you can pretty much get away with running any kind of offer um, on that, I think. Yeah, I just got to make sure we're talking to our affiliate manager so you don't get booted in your, your commissions. Exactly. Jacked. Yeah, when in doubt, always ask your affiliate manager. That's the, the safest thing to do, but uh, most people have no problem with this, this type of traffic, really. Um, so that's kind of a basic overview of um, what pay-per-view traffic is. We're going to take some questions at the end, so if you feel like we skipped over something, be sure and ask. Um, and Corey was going to talk about the benefits of pay-per-view. 
Okay, so the benefits of, of PPV marketing over other traffic sources are, at first, the first thing you're going to notice are is the cost. Um, now, it can get very expensive very quick, depending on, on what you're you know, bidding on. If you're bidding on Google, you're, you're going to spend one heck of a lot of money, and it's extremely un untargeted. However, if you are finding uh, keyword URLs that are very highly targeted and get a specific kind of traffic, um, then you, know, you can get them for very cheap, especially if you're bidding on some of the pages deeper in the site or starting with um, various characters like if you bid on a URL and just leave it like starting with uh, the dot and then the URL name um, you know a lot of times you'd be able to get cheaper traffic for more expensive domains that way so uh, you know one so one thing is the potential for for cheap traffic now again you want to start with your your budgets very low um, to begin with if you have a low budget because uh, the traffic can run away a little bit if uh, if you're not careful so when you're testing a campaign set your you know your campaign to start at 20 bucks and analyze your traffic right after you spend your first twenty dollars uh, the second thing that I really love are quality score there, there's no qualities there's no quality score issues that you're going to need to deal with um, which is spectacular. Um, you really only have to look at your offers, make sure that they don't have auto starting video or exit pops. Um, if if the offer has an exit pop, go to you know go to your manager and ask them if there's a way to get rid of the exit pop or or whatever. And um, EWA is great about. Uh, giving you offers um, specifically for PPV traffic that don't have that kind of stuff, you know. So they'll have various versions of the same offer meant to be marketed in different ways. So they'll they'll be able to get you a, an offer, and um, you know that doesn't have that exit pop. Um, direct linking is not a problem. Um, the one thing you want to check out with direct linking is the size of the offer landing page. Um, and with some networks, you're able to automatically resize the browser that pops um, to fit that direct link, which is really great. It's a tool that I'm working on right now, and it's working just awesome. Um, I'm able to rotate, you know, as many offers as I want to, and I can resize each and every offer. So, that, and that's one one tool that's going to be made available once it's uh, once it's complete. But um, so that's one good thing about about this is that you can direct link. Um, Pay-per-view networks are very helpful in my experience. Um, if, as long as you're, you know, sending a consistent amount of traffic, um, you know, they're going to help you out and they're going to tell you exactly what's working for um, for your particular campaign, why you're getting traffic to various offer, um, you know, campaigns and and maybe some others that you're not, um, you know. So you're they're, they're they're good enough to where they're going to work with you. It's not like Google where you can't pick up the phone and you know try to get someone that's actually going to help you out. Um, you can pick up the phone and call these guys, which is great. Um, there's there's an enormous amount of traffic out there. Um, it, it's growing every single day, and depending on the niche you're in, I mean, biz ops are there's. A, it's mind blowing how much traffic is available for biz ops and uh, even dating offers. So there's there's just a you know an endless sea of traffic and many many networks. There's more coming online every day. Um, so there's just a lot of a lot of traffic, which then leads into there's a great chance. I mean, I always shoot for 100% ROI in my campaigns, and sometimes you can do a lot better, sometimes you do worse. Um, you know, so you have as good, if not better, um, the ROI potential. Dave, do you have anything you want to offer for that? Yeah, I was just going to add to the fact that <clears throat> there really is a, just a ton of traffic. I think that's one thing people don't really realize with pay-per-view stuff. You know, if you were bidding on a really broad target, you could blow as much money as you wanted to in, <clears throat> you know, just a few hours. So <clears throat> the traffic is its definitely...